which everybody wants one of those, but they're 40,000 to find a motor anymore, it seems like. But anyway, um, so it's a Hemi. They, they do have a different sound than like a big block Chevy and a Ford, they're, they're different. You'll, you'll notice, because I'm gonna start three of them up. You're gonna hear, hear this one, which is a Chrysler, and then you're gonna hear that badass Ford motor, and then you'll hear the big block Chevy, and they all have their own little language. And the Hemis are cool because they, they kind of cackle a little bit. They got kind of a different sound to them. Um, but it's a, a 671 blower with two Hollies on it. Um, it's got a turbo 400 transmission, a quick change rear end. And Quit Your Bitchin' was basically built because of my diesel rat rod because when I built the D-Rod, which has been 10 years ago now, I got a lot of flack. It went to Hot Rod Magazine and people freaking flipped out. They freaking canceled their membership to Hot Rod. They wouldn't let me in car shows. Um, they was, it was a bad deal. So later on, I decided I'd build a car called Quit Your Bitchin'. <laughs> so you can't bitch about this. It's got a blown Hemi in it with a quick changer in, with five window coupe. I mean, what can you bitch about? Really, it's a, it's a cool, this is a, to me, this is what a Hot Rod should look like. You know what I mean? Um, one of my favorite cars, but um, I'll fire it up so you guys can listen to this thing run a little bit. I haven't started in a while, so let's see what happens. Huh? <laughs> Hammer uh, down. So this one here, I'm gonna. St I'll start the D rod when we go in the back, but a diesel. I mean, if you've heard one, you've heard them all. So it's pretty mellow. <laughs> but um, it looks like it looks like it's hard to drive, and it is. 